Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, we've got a special treat behind us today. Occasionally, we have customers that will purchase motorhomes from us, and uh, you know, not they find out they're not using it as much, and uh, um, they want to sell them back. So we're um, we're always willing to get some some really nice used inventory in. So behind me today, we've got a 2021 Newmar Dutch Star. 4024 plan and uh, kind of just today I want to start um, on the outside here we'll start down the the uh, driver's side here why don't we start up here in the front here um, as you can see we've got uh, the, the Gerard Nova package I've got all the awnings out it's got three electric awnings on all your windows we've got there's when there's more awnings on the other side and then we've got the uh, Gerard Nova pitched awnings here with the built-in LED light strip really gives you nice lighting out here. I know it's nice and bright today, so you can't really tell that, but um, it does have that. And then um, also underneath, if you come over here on this side, Kyle, and get a shot and come all the way to, towards the front and shoot up and under the slide, you'll see an LED light underneath it's on, and that runs the length of that slide out. <clears throat> Coming down to the first bay here, this does have an optional refrigerator-freezer combo. What's nice about this feature here is you can pull this out here and the new freezer, freezer fridge you can have a nice back box on one side and a refrigerator on the other kind of separate that and that just that slides out and clears the slide for use slide that back in uh, we've got on the front here I know I'm kind of going back and forth but I just wanted to point this out this does have the the, the come standard Dutch stars are going to come with the keyless entry key fob, so you can you can program your own entry code to get in and out of the entrance door, and to lock and unlock all of your compartment doors. So all my compartment doors have locks on them as well, so you're not having to go around with a key and unlock them all. Um, so things I want to talk about with the new Mar product too: the sidewall. We've got a three-inch thick sidewall. These are built on aluminum aluminum studs with fiberglass sidewall. So you, it's got the thickest gauge fiberglass in the industry you'll find, um, and uh, built like a house. It's built on 16-inch centers, all your aluminum studs inside of those sidewalls. They do have the L-shaped aluminum brackets with the holes, drip, holes in them with the rubber rivets, so when you run your wiring through the coach for 12 volt, for 110, um, if a technician is to tap into that, 12 volt or 110 to add additional outlets. It is a simple thing that our shop can do here. So just something I like to point out that I haven't talked about in the past. So um, coming down this way, we've got two slide trays. Uh, the first slide tray here comes all the way out on both sides. Run that back in. There are LED lights in these compartments to light them up at night so you can get you know see what you're grabbing and getting out of there another slide tray here this is a little three-quarter tray so this backs up to the um the oasis this does have a hydronic heat system which is on the other side so that backs right up to that and then this floor plan being a 40 20 uh, because of the sidewall here it's not as deep and the placement of the kitchen is on the other side so instead of a tv going in the sidewall here it does go down below if it's option, which this one did get. So that TV, it's on a it's on a swivel. You can swing that back in, close it off to close that door for travel. Um, this is built on an XCR chassis, so it's a Dutch Star built on a Freightliner XCR. It's got a 450 horsepower, you got 1250 pound foot of torque. You can tow up to 15,000 pounds with this coach. Um, so for those of you looking to to tow quite a bit of weight, this will get it done. And it's only a 40, it's about 40 feet, 10 inches overall length. Um, the rear axle here, it does have a tandem, tandem axle, um, and that is a steerable. So this will, on the Freightliner, this will turn up to 12 degrees as needed at speeds of 20 miles an hour or less. <clears throat> and the next bay here, we've got the diesel exhaust fuel which you can fill from here. This will come off. There's actually another 
uh, place where you can fill from the other side, which I'll show when we get to the other side there. Uh, back here, we've got your chassis batteries, disconnect switch here, wiring harness all for the chassis side. And then down below there, we got the diesel particulate filter. And this being a 2021, if, um, if you're curious, this color is a gorgeous coach. Um, the exterior color of this one is the Norfolk Decor. So if you were to pull that up on the Newmar website, you can, you can see that, uh, that color on their website. Um, but on the back side here, we've got um, a molded rear fiberglass wall here. You've got the rear backup camera up top. And then you got another camera right above here. So this does have the 360 OmniView camera. So it gives you that bird's eye look on your 10 inch monitors up on the dash area. And then down below here, as we pan in here, it is a side radiator, so easy access to the engine, belts, hoses, filters. Um, it's also where you can change your engine oil, check on your transmission engine oil here. Um, the, 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 the filter reading here is located, so if you need, when come time to change the air filter, that'll let you know when it's time to do that. And then down below here, it does have um, the Air supply, it's got an airline here, which you can tap into there. For those of you that need air brake supply on the tow vehicles, um, it does have your seven way plug here. This is a hitch, 15,000 pound hitch. Uh, let's talk about Something that Newmar has been doing for years is the STAR, the STAR Foundation. With Newmar, that, what does STAR stand for? It's strong, true, and robust. So what does that do for the customer? Well, they reinforce the, ba the, the whole basement, if you will, area has tubular weld bars that go from the outriggers to the actual um, the frame rail. And that allows for these big full wall slides. So these big full wall slides really open it up on the inside there. This gives you a lot of room and inside. It feels like you're in a, a little small apartment, if you will, or sometimes bigger than most small apartments. <laughs> um, in, down below here, we've got the water workstation. I've heard it called that. That is um, where your dump station is going to be located. <clears throat> You've got your pull out city water hose and you push a button here to retract it in. And then this is where you can actually insert this here. So when you want to close the door and then you have a whole house water filtration system here. Um, this did get the optional macerator uh, Santacon flush. So for those that need to pump the wastewater, let's say you're in a situation where you need to pump the wastewater uphill and you're not relying on gravity, well, you can use the Santacon to actually do this. Um, it does come with an outside shower, uh, sewage rinse, low, low point drain lines, and that green solution you're seeing in that clear hose um, is your winterization valve. So for winterizing it, they make it easy so you can actually hook up to your uh, non-toxic antifreeze to turn the pump on and flush and, and antifreeze it if you're gonna be storing it in cold winter months outdoors. Uh, it's very wise to do that. Next bay down we have the 50 foot 50 amp. I'm going to walk this out. So if I'm walking this out to my pedestal, nice and easy. You just walk it out and then when it comes time to go and you're going to reel it in, if the slide's in obviously it's much easier to get to, but the switch it's literally right on the door. All right. And I always recommend when you reel these in, you don't don't go all the way. If you go all the way in with them, and these are facing out, if you slam this door, you can damage the inner part of this door. So I always just recommend just. Have a little slack, lay it to the back, and now it's easier to open and close. Your transfer switch is also located in here. <clears throat> and then your cable hookups are located in here as well. 
moving on down, we've got the uh, hydronic heat. So this does have the Oasis hydronic heat system here. A little window there will show you when you've got a flame going to know that it's burning. Um, inside on the monitor, it'll give you a fault light if it ever needs to be reset. These are just like computers. Every once in a while, we all need to reboot our computers or we need to reboot our phones. There's a reset button on the actual Oasis itself. Uh, that's very helpful if you get into that situation sometimes. We're on the other side of the slide tray here. I mentioned now it's a full pasture, so it does come all the way out on this side as well. And by the way, these will haul up to a thousand pounds. Moving down to the battery bay. The battery bay, we've got the Harris. You've got eight AGM Harris batteries on a slide tray. And uh, it, it is, this coach comes with a, uh, let's see, I'm just trying to double check on it, 2800 watt inverter. So this, this has the um, induction cooktop, electric convection microwave oven. It has the all electric refrigerator. There's no propane on this coach, so it's, uh, it does have the larger inverter. So when you're running down the road, you can turn that inverter on and that'll keep your refrigerator, freezer cold, keep all your food cold, freezer has been frozen while you're traveling. Moving down this way, we've got, um, I talked about this being an XCR Freightliner chassis. So this front axle here is an independent. So it's got independent front suspension. What does that do for you? Well, you know, straight axle, you can fill a lot of the road. You know, if you, if you hit a bump or something, it's gonna rattle the whole uh, straight axle there. If you, if you hit a bump on the right side or the left side, it's going to absorb that bounce. And so you, it's just a much more comfortable ride going down the road. Now, also integrated with the independent front suspension, Newmar does implement the comfort drive, which I'll talk about when we get inside. But uh, that's, that's a nice feature too that, that, that uh, Newmar does offer. In this front compartment here, we've got the fuse panel. For your chassis side, more wiring harness is going to be all Freightliner driven. And then up in top here, we've got a pull valve here. That's to release the hood on the front so we can access the generator. We've got the generator running right now, uh, but uh, we've got, if you notice, it is an 8,000 watt. Down below there, we've got an 8,000 watt diesel generator. Looks like you've got little use. We've got 19 hours on the generator. And by the way, this coach has just over 5,000 miles on it. It's also where you're in here with the nose out, hood up, where your air horns are located. A little red valve over on the side here. It's a hot water line. So if you travel three, 400 miles, you got a lot of bugs built up on the front of the coach. You can hook up a hose to it and spray off all the bugs on the front of the coach. Uh, down below here, we've got an air chuck. You want to tap into the air system on the air on the coach? You can. And then over here, we've got the hydraulics. So the hydraulics going to be for your uh, automatic hydraulic jacks, and then also your, some of your slide outs are hydraulically ran. Let's go inside and check out the, the floor plan here. So I mentioned the exterior. This is a Norcol, uh, Norfolk exterior. Um, it did. It, it's got the Norfolk decor, but the Norfolk exterior has been. They swapped some of those colors around to make it kind of a special exterior color. It's one thing I just noticed on it. I wanted to point out. So. It's kind of one of a kind build. So this is um, not one of their standard paint colors. Um, but going through the coach, we've got the Glacier Glaze Maple high gloss finish cabinetry throughout. Being a 40-20 floor plan, it does give you the kitchen on this side. And then the, the sofa and dinette on the patio side. We've got the 55 inch Samsung smart TV here. It is on a, what they anymore is term called the Televator. So if I lower this down, you've got the big windows on your patio side. So a lot of times if you have company with you, 
Um, you're in the coach, you're cooking, you need to yell at the, holler at the guests and they're outside here. You've got these nice big windows here. Oh, by the way, these are, these are manual. A lot of, a lot of the dust shows we get are electric shades, MCD shades, which are nice. The electric shades are a nice option, but the standard manual MCD roller shades, in my mind, it's one less thing to tear up. So, you know, you, you don't want to have a, any problems, obviously, with any coach, but it's nice to have those uh, manual shades that are easy to operate. Um, but then I got uh, the big windows on the patio side. I've got a sleeper sofa here. And then the Bose sound bar. This is a hydraulic slide on this side. I only talked about the hydraulics outside. And then the big full wall slide is going to be all hydraulics. Uh, the tile floor, we got electric heat below the, tour, the, below the floor tile. There's no carpet. If you notice in the, in the actual slide out, you don't have carpet that's overlaying into the living room here, especially in the kitchen work area here. Uh, speaking of kitchen area, we've got um, a dishwasher. At the induction cooktop. I was like to mention this does come out. So if you want to take it outdoors, unplug it here, take it outside, and go cook outdoors. Plug that back in. And you got cutting boards on the flip side of these inserts. Convection microwave oven. Guys, this coach says just over 5,000 miles, lightly used, in really good, really nice condition. More overhead storage here. And it does have the split sinks. Well, there's a couple different options for sinks, but this has the larger sink here. And it's all that solid surface, Corian, throughout. And then the optional kitchen window. Gives you a little bit more lighting in here. And then something that's become very popular over the years is theater seating. So you've got some great storage in here for all your remotes. It does have a slide drawer. It goes back and forth. So there's more storage down underneath a little slide drawer. And then if you just want to recline, you've got the television straight across, you've got the little push button remote. If I just want to kick back, watch a ball game, watch a movie, these are super comfortable. And also there's an electrical plug on both seats for your USB ports. If you want to plug in your, your mobile device or your iPad or your tablets, keep those charged. Coming up front here, we've got the um, all the kind of the brains of the coach are going to be located here. So this did come with, on the very top left here, we see the Wi-Fi. This came with the Wi-Fi Ranger. Um, it also has the Traveler uh, high definition satellite for for your for your TV. It does have the wine guard over the air antenna. That's that's uh, electronic too as well. Um, there's the inverter controls, the Oasis, this is where I was talking about earlier. So if you flip the burner on, and I got a green light, but if for some reason it were not to fire, you'll get a, a red light just telling you that it didn't fire. That's when you can go down and reset it. There's also an electric, there's one electric element, or there's two electric elements. So that's where you can control, like if you're plugged into 50 amp service, you can have both your electric elements on and that'll keep it keep it heated better but if you want continuous hot water um, you're going to want to use that burner that'll keep you that continuous hot water and then uh, that also provides heat for the coach so with the oasis on <clears throat> right here on the bottom right hand panel this is going to be where your hvac is located that's where we, we show you all this. So if, if, you, if you were to buy one from us, just plan on spending some time going through and learning all these operations. Light controls, slide controls, window awning controls here. And this is your Gerard awning controls. It also has a Gerard remote where you can uh, control 
the awnings from outside and keep the remote in your pocket. All right, let's talk about the, uh, the dash area here. So, this does have the new digital dash display here, and um, which is really easy to, easy to see with that black background, the white, white lettering. It just makes the visibility much better than the old style. Um, on the left side of my steering wheel is where I can control uh, the menu item, if you will. So I can uh, go down to gauges. If I want to hit gauges, right now it's showing I've got some low pressure probably because of the cold air outside. Um, but fuel economy, tire pressure, it does have TPMS. Um, vehicle f configuration is going to be where you can go into uh, like the steering effort. We talked about comfort drive. So if I select comfort drive, now it's displaying a picture of the steering wheel. And the little blue bar in the middle is where it's sitting now. The higher I go with it, the tighter the, the, the sensitivity is on the steering wheel. And the lower the bar is, the less sensitivity is. Also, if you're driving in, on real windy conditions, you can turn that up. That'll tighten the, the sensitivity on the steering so it counters for strong side winds. Um, if you're driving on a crowned road and you're constantly fighting that crown on the road, it does help for counting for that. Um, some other things that I think is nice, let me start it up here. When you, let's say over here on my backup monitor, let's say I've got my um, target lined up. So if I, if I and if you notice, turn go over to the wheel here. So if I let go of the wheel, it takes me right back to center. Now I'm sitting in a park position right now, but if I'm moving backwards, this wheel is going to automatically start going right back to center. So that's, that's a nice feature too, that the comfort drive will automatically auto center you. So it takes you straight back. <clears throat> um, let's see here, let me go into, so this, this is your, uh, your 10 inch monitors. Um, and it does have navigation built in. Back to the menu here, Bluetooth. Um, it has your camera control. That's what I was looking for here. So your 360 camera view is. I got to turn this on here. Let's see, it does have the, the 360 camera view system. So for the bird's eye view look when you're traveling. Um, now this just came in, so we are. There's some things that we need to check on and make sure that's displaying over here. So just know that that's something we will look into. Uh, coming over on this side, we've got the wireless uh, charge system for your phones. And this is for your, your parking brake, headlamps. Um, if you got, need to boost, if you need to crank the engine off the house batteries, you can hold the house button forward and that'll toggle between house and chassis or ch toggles to the house batteries to crank the engine and vice versa. If you need to fire the engine off the chassis batteries, hold this down. You can fire the, the generator off of the chassis batteries. And then up on this side here, we've got some shade controls. You can see they're coming down now. And I got some docking lights. So if you're parking this coach at night, flip this switch on it's going to light up the docking lights on the side of the coach which really gives you a good display on the back side or on both sides of the coach <clears throat> and then you've got your overhead fans high medium and low um, generator on off switch the lock and unlock for your entrance door and compartment doors you can turn your air horn on and off here courtesy lights that's just a little toggle switch so if you want to light up the floor lights in the back at nighttime you can see where you're walking. That's what that switch for. And then we've got the, oh, you know what? Let's see, let's go back here. Technical difficulties, it's not working right now, but we will get that working. It happens. All right, let's go to the back. So we talked about the Whirlpool all electric refrigerator about 18 and a half cubic feet approximately of fr uh, storage refrigerator on the top 
ice box on the bottom. It does have an ice maker. And then this little black lever here, that's Numar's install for locking it. If I switch this over to the left, it keeps it nice and tight so nothing goes flying out when you're going down the road. Pantry storage, you got push to release. It's a new, that's something they in, implemented in 2021 instead of the little lock up top so you don't have to worry about these going flying open on you when you're driving. We've got the half bath here. Uh, something I always like to point out, I'm, I'm going to open this up and just point out because it's tight in there, but um, your breaker box and your fuses um, are all going to be located in here. So it's out of reach of children. It's easy to get to. You're not having to crawl up underneath the bed to access anything. And if you go all the way in, let me shut these doors here. You see what kind of countertop space you have in there. And then up above you've got some medicine cabinets. And then down below is some good storage. All right, in the master bedroom, we've got the double doors to close off the galley in the master bedroom. Nice glass inserts. And it, makes, it gives it that nice home feel. Um, coming to the back here, we've got a king size bed. And this does. Um, this does have some good storage underneath here. We've got the two inserts here if you, that you're seeing under the bed, plus the two chairs. We'll make the, the dinette. And when we go back up there, I'll show you, but it does um, give you more countertop space for the dinette area. <clears throat> We've got some countertop space on both sides of the bed here. Um, something I always like to point out too, you've got the multiplex lighting is above your head here so if you want to turn all the lights on and off in the coach your reading lights all that's going to be located above your head and then the overhead cabinets if you notice back in here we got an electrical outlet in the overhead cabinet for those that have CPAP machines and you want to get it out of the way you can run your hoses out the bottom here and have your machines up top nice feature that Newmar's done there I'll switch sides with you if you want to come over on that side and I'll show you the wardrobe storage. So we've got some good wardrobe storage, hanging storage here. Full extension drawer glides. And then this cabinet here, I believe it's going to be for your, yeah, this flips down. You've got a Blu-ray player, adjustable shelf here. If you want to add a receiver, a game system or something for the bedroom, you got the big 40 inch, I guess 43 inch TV. Um, you can add that for the bedroom. And then above here, we've got some more wardrobe storage. We go to the back, the master, the master bath has, so on the new 40, in 2021, I believe is when they came with the, the new floor plan. So instead of that rounded shower of the past, we've got the nice bigger shower here. So it's a squared shower here. If I step in here, kind of give you an idea how much room I'm at. I'm six foot two. I've got plenty of elbow room. There's actually a little, if you go down below here, you've got a little teak seat here. That's an option. So got a little bench seat in the shower. And then um, right here, Kyle, is um, this little knob here. It's clear at the moment, but it does have an aqua miser, it, so it will... You've got 105 gallons of fresh water, but if you dry camp and you don't want to sit there waiting for your water to heat up and you're wasting water, you can turn this little valve here when this changes colors, letting you know it's hot, and that gives you some instant hot water. Nice little water saver there. And then on this side, or come on in this way here, I'll switch spots with you. So across from the shower, we've got stackable washer and dryer. And then I showed you the wardrobe storage out there where you still have some more additional wardrobe storage here. And if you go all the way in the closet and to the back, 
You'll notice there's a safe in the back. And then we got lots of counter space, tons of counter space for all your bathroom items. And then we got some medicine, these medicine cabinets here. Open these up. Oop. Come around this way. So you've got some nice deep shelving here. You actually have an electrical outlet here. We're going to keep anything charged, plugged in, and out of the way. And then over on this side, we've got the escape door. So it does have the egress door. So this does open up. And then this little piece here comes off. You can see the ladder. So if you want to deploy the ladder, that makes it easy for getting out of here. Nice ha having peace of mind. You've got an exit. You never know if you're out camping and you got the front door open and a, a bear comes walking in the front door. Where, where do you go? Well, you got an escape route right here. So it's not only, you know, for if you're in a fire or something like that, you know, you never know if an intruder comes in. You can get out right here. So that's kind of a nice knowing you've got that as well. All your toilets are porcelain, the half bath, the rear bath, and you also have the, um, this has the Dometic uh, macerator flushing toilet. You can use it, set it up where you wave your hand at it and it'll flush the toilet, or you can set it up for a push button so you can flush your toilets. That's another nice feature that these have. Let's see, I was going to show you that dinette, so over here on this side, um, I mentioned those, those leaves that were under the bed, so this pulls out like so, and there's a, there's a leg that's held by a magnet, so I push down on it, you see it comes down here, so I can insert my two leaves that you saw that were under the bed, and have my two dinette chairs here, and that will give you some more more seating around the dinette. Um, some, some specs I wanted to give you. Oops, put this back up. Just to go over a few specs real quick, um, I may have forgot. Um, you've got 105 gallons of fresh water. You got 75 gallons of gray water and 55 gallons of, uh, of black water. Um, 105 you've got 100 gallons of fuel if you're looking for cargo carrying capacity is something I don't normally mention but I'm finding that that's more and more asked about this has quite a bit that you can load on it 49,000 pounds is a gross vehicle weight of this coach and 7,000 I'm sorry 10,900 pounds approximately of net cargo carrying capacity that's quite a bit of weight that you can load on this coach before you put your 15,000 pound tow vehicle on the back if you were to be towing that much weight. But uh, uh, it can handle quite a bit. You've got 64,000 pounds of gross combined weight rating. So this can handle um, quite a bit. So 450 horsepower, 1,250 pound, pound foot of torque. Um, you're looking for something that's not, you know, 45 feet. Um, th this has you know, if you're looking to get into some campgrounds that don't allow for anything over 40 feet, this is a good option for you. Um, it's got a lot of the luxuries that some of the high-end coaches with Mountain Air and London Air and Essex and King Air have. So just um, uh, a nice used coach. So um, I think I've covered most of what I can think about on this coach today. Um, if you are interested in this coach, please give us a call. This is um, stock number 5U211853. Um, enjoyed talking with you guys. It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Um, I probably won't see you guys till after Christmas, but I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. And uh, you can reach me at 720-539-4711 or shoot me an email at grussell at transwest.com. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.